guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to video uh, do a video on um what's going to be uh something essential in your closet for the winter 2019 and I'm break I'm going to break it into three parts I think because I'm going to start with jackets and coats first and then I'll talk about um skirts, uh, pants, and things like that. And then in the last part, I will talk about shoes and bags. So yeah, so please bear with me. I think this is the time around the year that I spend the most money because um, I only change seasons twice a year. So I, when I buy my summer clothes, um, I wear them all the way to like winter or fall. And then um, I buy four winter clothes that last me all the way till like the beginning of uh, spring and September so yeah so I tend to spend more in these two seasons so first of all I've got this really nice jacket um, from Zara and um, it was about um, I think uh, 50 yeah 50 dollars yeah and I think it's a good deal because it's really, really warm. Um, obviously, when it's not really, really cold in the fall, you um, denim jackets are really useful for you. So I'm wearing one to demonstrate today. But um, this one was also from Zara, and it was like um, I think thirty dollars. Yeah. So this one is really warm, and it's a baggy and casual pants that you can match a lot of things with especially when I'm someone who doesn't have to go to work so yeah it keeps you really warm because um yeah it's a both-sided jacket you can wear it both-sided but the thing is um this side is very makes it very warm because the fur is trapped inside the um jacket so the heat is trapped inside so yeah it looks really casual and this is already an extra small so imagine I just have to wear this and I can wear like you know two um, like tops like woolen tops or something if I'm you know re the really scared of cold type which I am because um, I, I don't have a very strong body yet but I'm improving I believe God that God will guide me through my uh, improvement yeah so um, I like this so much as a matter of fact that I got it in two colors and um, I got it in this cream a little creamy pearl polish um, sort of ivory color as well and this is more attractive but it's a lot easier or prone to dirt so I don't wear this one out to to eat yeah I just wear it out when I go shopping or when I go walking around yeah so yeah this one's like this yeah but if you turn it around um, you don't have to even cut any like tags it's automatically designed as a double-sided jacket which I, I think it's a really good deal for uh, 60 bucks, yeah. So, yeah, it looks like this. So, I really like it, yeah. I think each year I would spend, um, a sum of money but not big on Sarah to get a 75% woolen coat which I did this year and I got a really nice one and um, it's in black and I'm going to show you I still kept the receipt so that in case there are any new styles coming in in the following weeks I can exchange it yeah or if I eventually find out that it's not going to get that cold I could even refund it yeah so that's the good thing about buying in Sarah because not a lot of places do refunds in Hong Kong so um, let me take a look at this
Ooh, I nearly forgot this. Yes. This is the main thing I wanted to show you and it's like, you see, made of like pure wool. And this one is like a um, more casual one and yet um, you can wear it to like formal dinners. Um, the ones that I used to have before have structured shoulders but this one doesn't but I still find it very nice because um, this is an extra small so my shoulders are wide enough to support the this part yeah and um, it has more details to the uh, jacket because it has this part here and it doesn't have all these buttons like all over it so that they can easily fall off but instead it has very neat belt that ties around and you can tie it up like that yeah and you can even lift this part up to here yeah so you don't even have to wear a scarf so after all the decision I decided to get this one because this is like a even long length one so if it gets really cold it's gonna keep you really warm and but it's not as long as the one that I got last year which I was thinking about altering but I thought I'd still keep it so that if I go abroad someday um, I can wear this and I think it's really good yeah so I think that, you know, like for this winter's uh, uh, jacket collection, these are enough. And I'll show you the three um, denim jacket that I have, which are the white and the light colored one and uh, this one. And I've also got a black one in the same style and they were all 30 bucks. Yeah, the black one is really cool actually, I wore the black one the most, yeah, because if you match a skirt it looks really good. Yeah, so okay, I'll come back to you in the next part for skirts, um, pants and things like that. So, um, see you in a bit. And um, I almost forgot the most important things that I talked about in my video last year, which are these heat tags, yeah. I've got them in a pair of pants and um, I've also got them in the top and these are so good. They're so thin like a t-shirt, but they keep you warm, so warm that, you know, it's equivalent to wearing like um, a big, big sweater, yeah. But when... It, um, you don't want it to feel cold, uh, uh, hot it keeps you like you know like sort of um, like um, just room temperature so it will not make you warmer if you don't want to be warmer that's the, the magic of it you know what I mean so you stay your your body temperature but when you need the protection it's, it's called super warm or heat tech or something like that and um, I'm sure they sell them everywhere in uni tech and these are really useful sometimes if I don't want to wear like two big tank like uh, you know fancy tops I just wear two of these yeah and then um, if I want to wear like a short skirt or something like that for example like a summer skirt like this for winter and I would just wear a heat tech pants underneath or even if I have thinner pants for uh, uh, summer and I want to wear them in winter I will just put, wear a pair like these yeah so okay and then the next thing that I forgot was this jacket this is a very good jacket uh, um, to keep in this season too because it's a little bit sparkling and the sparkling and you know sort of more um, exaggerated trend is a uh, really hot and in style this year and so yeah a lot of people who are my style like a, a little bit more neutral that are not like you know very girly like bright pink you know like tight little tight skirt would tend to like you know this kind of um material yeah so okay now i'm going to talk about pants the first pair of pants that i've got is this pair 
that I got from Sara, and again they're a really good price. They were I think uh, thirty bucks again, and um, these pair of pants are originally very thick already, and um, but they still allow me to fit a pair of heat tech. So when it gets really really cold, like um, ten degrees Celsius or twelve degrees Celsius, I can easily wear a pair of this inside and then I can wear this but normally they look really really nice yeah and I just feel so like trying on but I guess I'll, I'll leave it till next time I'll just show it to you like this they're dark navy green and the material is fine and I already have another pair which is in black denim yeah so both pairs are easy to match yeah and I sometimes wear those even in the um in the late summer because um, it's windy and it's things like that and it won't be too thick yeah and then um, I have um, two winter skirts one in a very beautiful dirty pink which is thicker and um, if they uh, match the shoes that I'm going to show you they look really nice and I also got the same skirt I think in black. I don't know if I can buy it located. Yeah, in black. Yeah. So black is really practical as well. So if you want to wear something dirty pink, you want to something wear something grey, um, you know, something sparkling, something dirt, uh, black would you know like, or or dirty pink would balance it out because it's a just a really plain top. Yeah. So um, I've got to get my other jeans. Yeah. Sorry about that. So I also have this pair of jeans that I wear all the time and they're sort of like skinny jeans but um, a little bit loose and um, they are the ones that my doctor gave me um, for my birthday. I've, I've, I've got two pairs of them and they were also $30 I think from Zara and uh, so yeah but both of them are still in like perfect new condition. I expect to wear them for years and years and the other pair is this pair that is a uh, um, sort of boyfriend jeans cut and they are a bit loose so if I wear heat tech pants inside they would look good and I think this pair um, um, a little bit different is light in color so it forms a contrast if you wear black uh, top yeah so yeah and um, And obviously, you can't miss your um, iPhone 11 Pro um, um, Max uh, Gold 500 GB because this is the most important thing and most beautiful thing to carry with you. Okay, and then um, yeah, so these are the pants I've got, and I've also got a very beautiful skirt to show you. This skirt has four layers, and if you look at it in the the camera it looks a little bit bling bling or yeah in actual fact it's also bling bling but it's not the kind of bling bling that you, you wear to a, a formal dinner it's a you know sort of um, trendy bling bling uh, skirt that you would wear with um, just for example the coat that I showed you which are double sided and um, it's got four layers so you don't even have to wear heat tech um, like on the bottom of it and um, so um, you can match any kind of shoes like trainers um, Alexander McQueen's and um, and sh other shoes that I will show you yeah and okay Another one that I've also got to show you is this like lacy one, which is also trendy now. And this one could be a bit thin, but it's still got like um, two layers. Yeah. So I would recommend you to wear a, a you know, heat tech pen so that there's some layering, and um, it would look really good as well. So yeah, these are some of my ideas. And um, 
by the way, I think that you must have, you know, like some of these um, winter tops that are warm and um, so I have this one because I don't like full turtleneck and I also have some brown neck, neck ones which I haven't taken out yet or I haven't been able to purchase yet because they're not out yet and these are really cheap I mean I can spend so little money on a top like this is probably like about 20 bucks yeah and I got this in grey and uh, black um, one in black that has no turtleneck but it's really really warm and one in uh, sort of like camel color but uh, those are getting old so I plan to buy some of those like really cheap ones like um, I think $20 ones after discount because I'm a VIP of a shop called like Isai which, which is also called Maple and um, they have very cheap stuff there yeah and the their uh, sweaters are really warm so even if you just wear them for a couple years it's still worth the deal because they just cost like you know twenty dollars to thirty dollars yeah so here you go and yeah so um the other ones are all hidden so i don't have any more to show you yeah so okay the next part i'm gonna come back to um shoes and bags yeah so please bear with me
so this part I'm gonna be um, talking about bags and shoes. Yeah, so um, I have one pair of um, shoes that I um, purchased from Melissa and they are really trendy. They have like, you know, like a style that has like shoelaces just on the side and um, yeah, so um, I'm still gonna have two pairs collected, one uh, in this style but in a, a beige color and one in another style in black. Yeah, so I'll show you, make a, a Melissa video on that again. And then, um, um, I always have my uh, Alexander McQueen shoes in my closet. Yeah, so uh, this is like a pair of shoes that matches you know like um all kinds of clothes and i think it's a really good pair of shoes so i have like a couple pairs yeah and i think this year uh boots are not like something that is really you know, you know like uh, up and coming so yeah i i didn't in invest on any boots but i still have like uh like long boots at home yeah and then as to bags um i'd like to show you the one that i'm using now which is um I posted on Instagram and it's a Charles and Keith one and um, I also got this in another color which is also really nice and I think that one is sharper with this the classic dark green so check it out um, it looks like this and um, I think it just cost like nothing more than $70 after my VIP discount has just back in it as well, yeah. So I think it's a really good deal. And um yeah. So instead of buying, you know, like branded bags which are really expensive and really unnecessary and they have no resale value these days anymore. So I, I prefer buying these because if I don't get, you know, like a hundred of these I still can't buy a you know like a Chanel bag. Yeah. So um I still have this one and um, and this one is for winter and um, I think it's really pretty because it's got the uh, sort of cowhide um, uh, like material and suede material and um, if you wear it like this you can still see the logo and um, it's black and it, it's like, it matches all kinds of winter clothes, yeah. So, And um, then I have another one that is um, Doctor's bag as well. And this one is really trendy as well because it has a, um, a strap that you can wear like this. So yeah, this is really nice. And so I have a lot of them, but I do resell them um, once they get older and I won't use them anymore. So um, the last one that I would like to show you would be uh, this one and it's like a wrinkled leather one which is really trendy now and um, it can be worn as a handbag because I adjusted this very long and um, yeah so okay and then finally if you want to go to a dinner and um, if you want to wear like a you know sort of a branded bag um, I would go for this uh, uh, MS um, uh, what you call this, um, Birkin, yeah, and this is the, uh, uh, really total in the A2 leather with gold hardware, and, um, yeah, so I keep them really well in the dust bag, and, um, so when I, uh, do, I use them for a formal dinner, you know, I just carry it like this, or I have like a strap, like a third party strap that I can add to it so that I can wear it because this bag is really heavy and, um, yeah, so, um, that's why I turned to Charles and Keith because I think these bags are, you know, nice to look at, but the thing is they are really heavy, so even before you can, you put any stuff in it, um, it's already really heavy so yeah um so and i i would also like to sh uh, 
like Rick Air remind you that you know like a pair of sunglasses would be good because if you're driving or something it would still get sunny even in the winter and to protect your eyes you know I just um, took this pair of like um, 1971 square model in the uh, rose gold frame and yeah so um, these are all the you know like the tips that I have for the you know like uh, essentials in the winter wardrobe yeah so I hope you like my video and if you do please give a thumbs up and please don't skip the ads um, if you will because I'd like to earn a little bit income with my uh, you know effort um, like in this kind of health condition for me making YouTube videos and if there are anything that you'd like to watch please let me know in the comment section and um, so yeah please also subscribe if you haven't already done so yeah I really appreciate it and I love you all bye